Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this shirt basically from scratch. Here's the end result and uh, let's get into this. I started off just doing a little test on an old shirt that I don't really care about. Um, I'm actually spraying bleach onto a couple of pebbles and then rubbing them around on the shirt to try to create like a mineral wash effect. I've done this in the past and it's turned out pretty nice, so I'm hoping to recreate that. I go and I plop that into a hot bath of dye that I made. Emphasis on hot. That's why I'm taking my time with it. And I let it sit for about 30 minutes. The green really didn't show up on this piece at all and bleach looks absolutely nowhere how I wanted it to. Using what I learned from the last shirt, I decided to get more rounder of rocks, and instead of spraying bleach onto them, I actually dunk them in a little bowl of bleach in an attempt to get them more soaked than before. This works out pretty nice, but leaves a couple more concentrated areas on the shirt that I did not really want. I also got pretty lucky with this shirt, because for whatever reason, it bleached green, which, uh... Works nice for this project. I let the shirt dry for a couple of minutes, plopped it into my little tub of vues, and got started on my design for it. I've had this design made for a good while, so I just reworked it a couple more times on paper to get out the kinks that I wanted, sent it up to my computer, and then mocked it up in Inkscape. I played with the idea of using color in the design for a little bit, because that's what I initially started with. In the end, though, I decided an all-white design looked the best on the shirt. So... I saved it, sent it over to my machine, and got started on the cutting process. This is a Cricut. This is what I use to create the designs that I print onto my t-shirts. All you have to do is just send a design over, cuts it out on a piece of vinyl, and then you press that vinyl onto a t-shirt. Simple enough. Look at the little homie go, though. He's just doing his job. He's just cut cutting away. I then start the weeding process. This is the most frustrating and monotonous part of the entire thing. You have to go slow with it, because if you don't, you could pull off part of the transfer, and then you'd have to completely restart. Speaking of messing up, in the cutting process of this transfer, I accidentally cut off a little bit of the yay. Pretty annoying, but every project has a couple mistakes, and uh, this is really the biggest one in the whole process, so I guess that's okay. Once I'm finished with that, I go to pull out the shirt from the bucket. This thing is burning hot, so I wasn't really able to be real delicate with it. This time I let it sit for a good hour after doubling the dye and putting some salt and dish soap in there because Google told me that'd work better. I really don't know how much it helped, but it definitely looks significantly better than before. This thing looks dope. I plot it into the washer and dryer for a little bit and voila, this thing looks really good. The effect I wanted came out really nicely. It looks exactly what I envisioned in my head. Rarely that happens. I put the design on the new shirt and started the press process. This is nearing the end of the process. I had a couple complications at the beginning. The transfer just wasn't sticking to the shirt. So I just had to press it down more, add more heat to it, and it ended up working out. These things happen. You just got to keep moving forward on projects like these. I do my last couple of iron-ons, and then I start peeling off the transfer. Let me get a drum roll. I don't really know how that comes up on mic. I hope it doesn't sound gross. But ta-da! I know you already saw it, but it's still really exciting. This shirt turned out really good. Uh, it took me just about a day to make, and it's super easy to replicate at home. So, here's the walkout you saw earlier. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you consider watching a couple more. My handles are in the bio. And have a great rest of your day. Peace.